What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique. I'm a classical pianist and it's time for one minute, ten minutes, one hour challenge. And I got so many requests on doing this challenge on the Friska part from the Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two by Franz Liszt. So today <laughs> it's time <laughs> to face it. <laughs> So, before we get started, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You basically just take any piece of your choice, which you've never played before. Then you have three practicing sessions. The first is one minute, then 10 minutes, and the last one, one hour. And after every practicing session, you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. I'm already excited for this one because I'm sure it's going to be really, really hard. Guys, wish me luck. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Okay. Okay, let's get started with one minute.
I'll just play the beginning. It's already hard enough. <laughs> In this first part of practicing, I was trying to really get the rhythm and the pulse for this introduction part. Because the rhythm is not as easy as you might think, there is this dotted note, so there is an impulse on the dot, like yum, ba dum, ba dum. And basically, on the dot, you need a little impulse, and the faster the tempo gets, the more difficult it gets to really feel this impulse, and therefore, you even need a lot more practicing than just one hour. At this point, I was trying different fingerings for the repetitions, which would make my life much easier. <laughs> However, it is not so easy to find good fingerings, especially if you don't have so much time. The tricky thing about fingerings for trills and repetitions is that the movement itself is so fast that it gets a little bit chaotic up there sometimes. So you will have to change the fingering at some point, maybe already after 10 minutes or after a few days or if you are really lucky after a couple of months or years. But most of the time you will have to change the fingering at some point. And the best thing for me is always to find a lot of different possibilities for fingerings and train all of them basically so you can just switch on the spot if needed, um, for example, on stage. <laughs> The problem of fast passages is that we often concentrate too much on the fast notes, on the single small movements instead of the bigger movements that would carry us through this part. So at this point I was starting to think more about my left hand and concentrate more on my left hand and just let my right hand play on top of it. It gives my brain more stability and it's not so chaotic anymore. And practicing with metronome helped me also to get more stability, especially for my pulse feeling, which helped me later to do a natural rando. Okay, at this point of practicing, I was starting to speed up the tempo, first with metronome, and as soon as I reached like the final tempo that I wanted to have, I didn't use the metronome anymore and just played without, but through practicing more with metronome, it helped me to like really get the pulse of the piece. Thank you. 
these last 10 minutes were pretty hard for me because I wanted to memorize a little part of it um, so I can speed up the tempo even more. Normally memorizing some stuff is not that big problem for me, um, especially in this case there is like the same harmonies are repeating again, the melody is not changing so much, you just have different techniques and like little variations, but together with the pressure of the time that is left it was <laughs> pretty pretty hard, I was getting very nervous and uh, it was very hard for me to concentrate in these last 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, this was the challenge for today. I didn't manage to play as far as I wanted to play. Like the the cool part is just coming at the day. like I it was uh, impossible for me to continue. It was already hard enough to play these two pages and like to get the next part I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be even harder. So, I think I will continue this little challenge here this time and try to play also the next part because I actually wanted to play this part. <laughs> the coolest part is just coming and I like I didn't manage to come so far. So, Stay tuned, there will be a part two of this challenge. For everyone who is interested in which fingerings I've been using and also how I was practicing through the whole time, you will find the uncutted version on my Patreon. The link is in the description box. And everyone who is interested in having lessons with me, I'm offering online masterclasses. The application form is on my website. The link is in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next videos. Bye.